Hi, this is David Holt, the mayor of Oklahoma City, and on behalf of the people of Oklahoma City, to the doctors, the nurses, the PAs, the respiratory therapists, the transporters, the phlebotomists, the radiology techs, the housekeeping staff, the food service staff, the pharmacists, the lab workers, the administrators, thank you, thank you, thank you. We are so grateful for all that you are doing for the people of Oklahoma City. We know how hard it is, but please know how much it means to us. We are eternally grateful. Thank you. I want to thank the doctors and nurses and staff of uh, really Mercy ICU. Um, you guys took care of my dad. Uh, my dad um, was there for 20 something days. Um, I called you every day and called you multiple times a day. Probably drove you crazy, but uh, you guys were patient and kind with me. Um, my dad was David Arrington. Uh, he passed away on um, December 23rd, uh, right before Christmas. But we are thankful for you guys. We're thankful for all that you've done um, for helping us and especially thankful for Emily and uh, Melissa at Mercy, they were just so kind and thankful and, and good to our family. Uh, Dr. Lee at Mercy, uh, we're, we're very thankful. Uh, we miss our dad every day and dealing with death is terrible. It's been awful, but you guys do it every day and we're praying for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of the Oklahoma City Dodgers, we want to thank our frontline workers for the role that you've played during the COVID-19 pandemic. These men and women have worked tirelessly to keep our community safe and help battle the virus. In addition to the medical role that they've played, they've also played an important role in the care and compassion of all those battling the virus, those that are unable to have their close friends and families nearby. In this upcoming baseball season, we look forward to celebrating you at Chickasaw Bricktown Ballpark. We want to thank you and make sure you know that your work has not gone unnoticed. Thank you. You test us, you treat us, you care for us, and you love us. And we really appreciate it. Oklahoma Christian has put out thousands of healthcare workers. To them and to the rest of you, we can't thank you enough. Your bravery inspires us and cares for us. God bless you and thank you. Thank you to all the medical care workers out there in Oklahoma. I've been lucky not to get sick yet, but if I do, I know you'll be there working your hardest like you do each and every day. Hi, I just want to say thank you so much to the doctors and nurses that took care of me when I had COVID and all the nurses and doctors that took care of the rest of my family as well. Thank you, Dr. Douglas Brandt. Thank you, Lynn Brandt. Thank you, all of the nurses and the cute little girl that took me to the CAT scan place. And um, it was horrible, but you guys made it so much better. And I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. This is a quick video just to let you know, as healthcare workers, you are amazing. You are blessed. You are divine. Without you, we wouldn't have hardly anything as far as hope in the world, knowing that there's people who care and can help us in a divine way. And I just want to thank you for everything you do and have done in making our lives that much better. We love you. Okay, I totally forgot to thank some of the most important people to our family, and that's the people at United in Yukon. The pharmacy is awesome, and they are just such kind people, and they truly care about you. They know your name. So thank you so much, United. I truly appreciate it. Hello. I am Oklahoma Elite Miss Agriculture USA. My name is Elizabeth Reeve, and I'd like to thank all frontline workers, um, all health professionals for everything that you are doing 
for our state and our city. What you're doing, you are heroes. You are awesome and amazing. We could not be surviving without you. Please keep up the great work that you're doing and have know that you are heroes. You are awesome people. Thank you for everything you're doing. You all are doing a fantastic job. Thank you very much. Thank you, healthcare workers, for all that you do. Thank you. Thank you, healthcare workers. We love you so much. Thank you so much, healthcare workers. Thank you from all of us at Science Museum, Oklahoma. Hello everyone, Abigail Cabello here with Focus Federal Credit Union. Here at Focus FCU, we just wanna tell our frontline heroes how grateful we are for your service during this pandemic. We know it hasn't been easy. It's been really tough on you. And we just wanna say thank you. Hi, I'm Jeanette Rice, President of American Fidelity. In support of our healthcare workers, educators, and other frontline heroes during this extraordinary time, I wear a mask, social distance, and encourage others to do so anytime they are in public because COVID-19 doesn't rest. To our healthcare workers, you have our strongest support and our deepest gratitude. As one who had a loved one battling COVID in the ICU for three weeks, I thank you. I don't know how you found the time to call me with regular updates on my brother, but you did. You provided the best of care. You walked our family through a very difficult time. You set up a Zoom call so that I could tell him goodbye. And you held his hand as he slipped away when I couldn't be there. To our amazing healthcare workers, you are the brave ones. You are the compassionate ones. You are the heroes. And I am forever grateful. Hi, this is County Commissioner Carrie Blumert, and I wanted to thank you, our doctors, our nurses, our hospital staff, everyone who shows up day in and day out to keep us safe. I wanted to tell you thank you. For the last 10 months, you all have worked tirelessly to serve your patients and serve our community, and I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The phrase thank you does not seem adequate to express the gratitude that I and my family have for all of you as healthcare workers, for keeping us safe and keeping our community healthy. We thank you for the sacrifices that you are making every day, the ones we can see and the ones we can't even begin to fathom. We appreciate all that you are doing. May God bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and bring you peace, joy, and rest in 2021. A huge thank you from all of us here at Casa of Oklahoma County to first responders and medical professionals in our community for caring for us over the last year. We know that you have put your own safety and health on the line to do so, and uh, we are forever grateful. Uh, we also know that it isn't just physical and medical care that you've been providing, but comfort and emotional support as well for people who are very scared and um, face the potential of dying with no family or friends allowed to be near them. And um, they really can't put a price on that. And uh, so you have our forever respect and uh, we thank you again. This is to all of our healthcare workers. Thank you so much for putting your lives on the line each and every day. I'm so sorry it's come to this, and I know that you're tired, and I know you're frustrated, but I hope you also know that you are appreciated and loved. You are the glue holding this country together. We literally could not survive without you. You are going to work for us, so I am staying home for you. You know, not all heroes wear capes. In fact, they wear PPE. You all are our heroes. We do so many stories on the hours that you put in, the sacrifices that you have made, 
just to help our friends, our neighbors, and our family. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you for all that you have done and all that you still do. Hi to our Oklahoma healthcare workers. This is Bobby at News 9, and we just have to say a huge thank you for your dedication during such a time. Day in and day out, you have shown such perseverance, especially comforting those in their last days. That has got to be one of the toughest jobs, and you still are showing up and taking care of us, and we appreciate that, and we are so thankful that you're among the first to get your vaccine so you can too stay healthy in this fight against COVID-19. Again, we really appreciate you and all that you're doing right now. Hi, I'm just I'm your oldest, Jed Castles. Just want to say thank you to all of our healthcare workers, our nurses, all that are putting themselves on the front lines of dealing with this terrible, terrible virus. The horror stories are just so bad uh, with this. Sometimes you don't have enough equipment but you still put yourselves in the line of fire with this virus. Just know that we're thinking about you, we're praying for you. Uh, just want to encourage you that you are just being thought of with the highest regard. And we thank you all so much for all that you do. Thank you again. Hey, good morning, Oklahoma City. This is Brian with Sissertail Wage Solutions. I just want to come to you this morning and thank every single one of the healthcare workers who are on the front lines and willingly every day uh, step up and are facing and fighting the pandemic. We thank you, we love you, and uh, we can't thank you enough. Hey, it's TJ. Janet. And Jay Rod in the morning from KJ103. We just want to say to all the healthcare workers, we know you're working so hard and we appreciate everything you do. And we hear things like how you're exhausted and mentally tired and stressed out. And I can't even imagine what you're going through. All we can do is say thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're sending our love your way. Big hug. Ah! Healthcare workers, we just want to take a second just to say thank you. And um, we're praying for you. And we just thank you for your hard work, your dedication, and your sacrifice. We want to thank all the healthcare workers in the state of Oklahoma for all you have done during this pandemic and all you do all the time. We appreciate you. We're praying for you and God bless you. Thank you. I can't think of anyone more deserving of praise and appreciation than our healthcare workers. You guys have shown how, who really runs this country, who really makes things happen. I appreciate so much your willingness to put your own lives on the line to help those of us that are vulnerable. Hey, I'd like to thank all the ICU nurses and the COVID unit nurses up at OU Med Center that took care of me when I was up there in November. You guys rock. Um, keep on doing, keep on fighting the good fight. I want to thank especially one nurse personally. He got me a Dr. Pepper when I asked for it. You know, and I know, I know you guys are going through hell, and I know I was, you know. So just keep up the good fight. Keep on saving people's lives. We love you out here. Thank you, Frontline Healthcare Workers, for everything that you have done throughout this entire pandemic. Um, I just wanted to say thank you and let you know that your hard work and dedication has not been unnoticed, and um, I really appreciate it. I know many other people really appreciate it, and just keep up the hard work, um, know that you guys are not alone and that you guys are really making a difference. So thanks again for everything that you guys do to help keep us safe. Thank you for all you do, doctors and nurses and all of you that are on the front line, keeping us safe and making sure that we stay healthy and we're able to survive this pandemic. You are vital and we appreciate you more than anything. Thank you to all of our doctors and nurses and healthcare professionals. We love you guys. We appreciate you so much. We're so thankful for all of your hard work. We're gonna continue to mask up and to do our part to help. Um, thank you all so much. We appreciate you. Thank you doctors. Thank you nurses. Thank you for everyone for working so hard. Thank you doctors and nurses. Hello, my name is David Oxley Sr. 
And I just want to give a shout out to, to all the healthcare workers, those involved in the front lines on all aspects, the, uh, the techs, the doctors, the nurses, the aides. Um, you are loved and appreciated. And I appreciate our mayor, uh, David Holt, and then uh, encouraging us and giving us a platform to where we could express our gratitude. I recently had, uh, I was fortunate to have an elective surgery about a month ago. And uh, I was just so blessed by, by the care because I was only one or two people in that entire surgical unit of the hospital having surgery. I was really given a lot of TLC and I want you to know I appreciated it. And, uh, and when I got home and was recovering, I got a card signed from every one of them, a get well card from every one of them. I was just so blessed. And I'm keeping that card in my mementos of feel good files, like show my children and grandchildren. So again, to all the healthcare workers of, of our great Oklahoma City metro area, thank you. You are appreciated. We do pray for you and we honor and celebrate you. Thank you and God bless. My dad was hospitalized um, in March at the beginning of the pandemic while we were on lockdown here in Oklahoma City. And we were not able to see him, uh, talk to him. He does not speak English and he's always suffered from schizophrenia and depression amongst other mental illnesses. And it was really tough for us to not be able to contact him. Um, until the nurses started taking this upon themselves. Um, they wanted him to stay encouraged. They wanted him to um, take his medications and they FaceTimed us, they called us, they, they did whatever it took to make sure that my dad did not feel alone in the hospital. Again, with him not speaking English and being mentally ill um, and by himself in the hospital, we were afraid that he would quite frankly go insane. But the nurses, all of his healthcare providers were amazing at St. Anthony's Hospital and we owe them so much. They are the real heroes, so thank you so much for all that you do. And I hope that you know um, that we are praying for you and we appreciate from the bottom of our hearts everything that you're doing to keep us afloat during this pandemic. Thank you. I'd like to send out a big thank you to all doctors, nurses, technicians, transporters, EMTs, pharmacists, and everyone who has supported patient care during the pandemic. You are truly warrior angels every day fighting to save lives. We are grateful for each and every one of you and will continue to send our love, prayers, and positive vibes every day. We are with you. Stay strong. Hello, I'm Scott Wells, President and General Manager of Remington Park in Oklahoma City. And on behalf of our 600 employees and our more than 2 million visitors each year, I want to express our deep felt gratitude to the hundreds and even thousands of healthcare workers who not only have helped us every day of our lives, but who have been of particular help to us during this terrible pandemic. Your dedication, hard work, and compassion have served as an inspiration to us all. Hi, it's Jim Priest from Goodwill Industries of Central Oklahoma with a big shout out and a big, big thank you to all of our healthcare workers who are on the front lines caring for us, saving us, ministering to us in so many ways, uh, both spiritually, emotionally, and physically. We're grateful. So much uh, appreciation for what you do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks for all the work you do. Thanks for the work you do. Thank you, healthcare workers, for everything you guys do. Hi, my name is Amanda holt Lanier, and I wanted to just say thank you to all the people who are taking care of COVID patients and patients who don't have COVID, who are sick and need your help. I know that this is a very, very difficult time, but we are also thankful to have you. Uh, we're very lucky to have you, and we know it. Thank you for all that you're doing for our world right now. You're, you're a hero. And I know it takes a, like a commitment every day to be who you are and to help others. And so I'm thankful for that. And your tireless efforts are not going unnoticed. Just please remember that, that we're, we're so thankful. Those of us that you're protecting and those of, that you are helping that are ill, we're so thankful for that. And the sacrifices you've made during this time make so many people extremely grateful and we hope you know that. Thank you. From the kindergarten class at Positive Tomorrow's, we appreciate all our healthcare heroes. Hi, I just want to 
say thank you for all that you have done. I know that you all have sacrificed being with your family and friends for the holidays, not to mention the um, mental toll that it's taken on all of you. And we just want to say that you are our heroes. We support you. We appreciate you. And here's to a better 2021. Thanks and have a happy new year. Hi, my name is Layla. I just wanted to say thank you for all of the nurses and doctors for helping all of the people in COVID-19. Mask up, OKC. Hello, medical workers. This is Josh Moore in downtown Edmond, and I just want to take a second and tell you how thankful we are for your hard work and everything that you do to take care of all of the COVID patients in Oklahoma. Stay strong. We support you 100%. Thank you very much. Hi, healthcare heroes. My name is Charles Gossett. I'm a life purpose coach and founder of a business called Full Integration Coaching based in Oklahoma City. I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank all of you, each and every one of you, for what you're doing. From the frontline emergency department workers to the administrative staff, to uh, all of the individuals that keep our healthcare system up and going. Thank you so much for doing the work that many, if not most of us, couldn't do or wouldn't do uh, in order to keep us safe, healthy, and whole. I hope that you have a very happy new year and I look forward to a much better 2021. Thank you for helping us get through these hard times. Every single thing you've done has made a big difference. Thank, Thank you, you healthcare workers from Rose State College. Hi, I'm Pastor Denise and Pastor Ron, who's right here kneeling. We're from Resurrection Free Methodist Church and our bodies gathered together. And we want to say thank, thank you. you. Hey, I just want to say thank you to all our first responders and everyone in the medical field that is helping the general public uh, come through this virus. Um, we know it's going to take time. We're going to keep washing our hands um, so we can get back out there and support our club. Thank you all again. Keep up the great work. Oklahoma healthcare workers, you have seen us all through a year. None of us will ever forget. You have the thanks of a grateful nation, and we will never, ever be able to repay what you've done for us. Here's hoping for happier times ahead for you and for all of us. I don't know who needs to hear this, but thank you to everyone that is working in healthcare right now. You guys are doing amazing things and I know you're tired and I just want you to know that we're thinking of you. You are appreciated. You're prayed for at night and keep going in there and doing what you're doing. And in return, we'll do smart things like wear masks and stay away from the New Year's Eve parties so that hopefully you can begin to get some rest. Take care of yourselves. You are loved. Greetings from Oklahoma City Public Schools. I'm Sean McDaniel and I get the opportunity to be the superintendent of schools in our wonderful district. I just wanted to take a moment on behalf of the Board of Education, our students and their families, our faculty and staff, and our entire educational community to say thank you to our frontline health workers. A simple thank you is not nearly enough to express our gratitude for all that you've done. We know that you put yourselves in harm's way each and every day to help us. And so thank you from all of us to you. We appreciate you so much. Thank you. 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 Ha, 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 ha.